Alright guys, so it looks like we have a new Dragon Ball Super Superhero trailer. What more can they possibly show us to make us hype for this movie? I am hyped for this movie, but not as hype as I was for Super Broly, if I'm being 100% honest. I'm not quite as um, unexcited or unenthusiastic as I was before. Um, because we really, there's a big mystery in this movie, and uh, it's hidden for now, but like, once this shit drops in Japan, it's gonna be leaked online, and we're gonna know what's going on, unfortunately, even if we don't want to, because this is the Dragon Ball community, and once something big comes out, new form or whatever, you're not gonna escape spoiler, alright? And then they themselves made a Gogeta trailer, when the movie didn't even release, where I, eh, yeah... You know, you just can't win sometimes with this, but let's check this trial out and see what we're dealing with. I just hope it's something new and not just the same shit we saw before. That'd be uh, disappointing. All right, let's see what we got. Uh-huh. Just like Pan's gonna fight. Okay! Okay, that looked clean as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I'm seeing a little bit of cringe. I knew it. I knew it was gonna be a large battle in the end and everyone just teamed up and ganged up on the final villain. I'm telling you, they're gonna team up with the two androids and they're gonna take out the final villain. And I hope, you know, that's just what's gonna happen. Every Everybody's gonna team up in the end. Let's, let's look at that again, though. I want to really absorb that, so, hold on. It's something about Goku kicking. The speed lines in a 3D model, not bad. Not bad. The movie ain't as nasty as everyone thought it was going to be. Look at that. So he was going ultimate right there. Okay. That shit looks kind of clean, though. That looked like cringe. I don't think I like that at all. Hold on. This motherfucker just copy Android 17. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna give it a pass since he's uh a red ribbon android, but <laughs> 17 did that shit on Dragon Ball Super already. That little zombie wake up shit. Unless he was dodging an attack, I don't know. And then they hit heads. I don't know. I don't want to pause it on that guy's costume. Hold on. Look at this shit, though. So we got Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. His hair looks weird. Trunks. You know, it doesn't look that good when it's paused. You know? <laughs> All right. This isn't a bad shot. It's that three-dimensional element is just kind of weird still. You gotta get used to it. I'm not saying it looks bad, but... So, alright, so they're all teaming up and shit. Alright. They're really playing with that dome, man. They're really teasing us with that dome. Like, uh... If it is Cell, I don't think it's going to be Cell. I think it's going to be a new Android similar to Cell or maybe a new bio-Android period. Who knows? But I do believe it's a bio-Android because you don't need a mechanical model to be submerged in water like that. So obviously it's some sort of bio-Android. And, and they're making it so I don't think it's um, Cell. He's not going to hold a grudge against Gohan because it's not going to be Cell. The Cell that we knew at least. It's going to be a whole different being. And uh, and if it is the same concept as Cell, I sort of want to say that they're fucked, maybe. Because I'm trying to think out through all the Dragon Ball media, all the bio androids they faced in the past. None of them had God Key. I mean, I'm not going to count Mira, because what he became was something uh, a little bit beyond the gods. But this isn't about Mira, right? We're, we're not dealing with the, with, with the Xeno threat or anything like that. That's something far larger in power. So, I'm guessing this creature is going to have God Key. If they're taking information from uh, Goku and Vegeta to update their systems. 
God keep him to both of them. As of right now, Vegeta has never went Ultra Ego on Earth. So there's a good chance uh, they're just going to be stuck with Super Saiyan Blue Aura, Super Saiyan God, and Ultra Instinct. Unless the Red Ribbon Army learned their lesson and was spying on them and had the drones follow them off-world. Which, at that case, it would have had to have follow them. Yeah, so they traveled by ship. So the bug would have to follow them in a ship, on the, uh, the Galactic Patrol ship. Follow Goku and Vegeta on Namek. But there's really nothing new, but I guess just to make sure they don't get any new power. But they really didn't show anything new in, until they got back to Earth. And they took a ship to Planet Serial as well, so the bug, they didn't teleport there. If they teleported there, there would not have been a way for the bug to attract them. They took, they, they took spacecrafts on both trips. I'm not sure if this was done on purpose or not, but they're on Planet Serial. The bug could have just been chilling in the ship, pulled it up, saw Ultra Ego and all that nasty shit. And uh, doing that would sort of be a bad idea because this is supposed to be Gohan's movie. We don't need Goku or Vegeta stealing the show, especially Goku. So I don't think this super android is going to be using any uh, higher end god forms. That would be a bit too much for Gohan to handle in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think about this movie. Um, this trailer mainly just consisted of glamour shots. You know, we didn't. It's not really anything new. We knew Gohan was gonna go ultimate on the movie. You know, we're seeing Trunks and him get action, I guess. But it's not. It's not really anything amazing. For right now, and I, I'm afraid that we're not gonna see anything amazing until the fucking movie gets spoiled, which is gonna be disappointing. But it's happened. I'm gonna need some copium, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Alright guys, peace.